Some angry residents in Kimberley barricaded roads this morning with burning tyres and rocks demanding better service delivery. The residents also want Northern Cape Premier Zamani Sol and Sol Plaki Mayor Patrick Mabilo to step down. They maintain that the Premier and the Mayor have failed to address their service delivery issues such as proper infrastructure and uninterrupted water supply. Community leaders met with both the Premier and the Mayor last week to address their concerns. Neria Lakota filed this report. Residents of Kimberley have taken their frustrations to the street. We can see this morning already they've barricaded the roads, they've closed roads. We know tires are burning as we speak. They also just closing with rocks here so no car is allowed to pass. They are saying that because the Premier and the Mayor failed to respond to them last week when they gave their memorandum, now they will be making sure that Kimberley is ungovernable. But now I'm joined by some of the leaders for this match and I will be speaking to you, Tony. I mean, more than anything, it's service delivery. Yes, what are you hoping to get away from this? Ma'am, we have called for Mr. Sulo Ramaphosa, the president, to come address us and come address our problems here. He was here two years ago. He promised us he knows the problems of Kimberley. So we're all asking for him to come address us and come sort out the whole Plaiki municipality for us because we have found they're incompetent. We cannot rely on them anymore. Yeah, for sure. And uh, amongst other things that we are seeing currently in Kimberley is the lack of water. Maybe, boys, you can come uh, to address this with me. We're seeing a lack of water. We're still seeing sewage passing. How how much is this affecting you guys as uh, the community? Uh, morning, morning. We have been complaining about this for a while now, for years, basically. The water has also been for years that we've been complaining about it. They've been telling us that the infrastructure is old, but they're not upgrading the infra infrastructure. There's currently infrastructure, new infrastructure at Riverton, but still they're failing to utilize it. I don't know what the problem is. As we are speaking right now, there's no water. And the MM, in the first meeting we had with them last, last week, Monday, he said he's putting his head on the block. If there's any other water cuts, he'll, he'll, take, he'll take the fall for it. So right now, I'm sure he must be noticing what's happening in Kimberley, so he should be stepping down if he has any morals that, that, that guide him. And uh, perhaps for how long will this be happening and what is the end goal for all of this? Uh, basically we started engaging the municipality. We felt that they didn't listen to us. We went to the Premier and asked him also to intervene. The Premier also is also not trying to meet us halfway. Hence, we have called for the, for the President to come down because I think maybe he is the only one who might be able to help us. And I put the emphasis on might because right now we do not know actually who is for the people because right now it's just like we are being used for as, as, as voting, voting rats. We just, they just need us when it's voting time. But when we cry out to them, they do not meet us halfway or they do, they do not meet us 100% because what we are good for is only voting for them. When we cry about water, they come with excuses. When we cry about sewage, they tell us we, we, we complain too much. What is that? We are taxpaying citizens. They should give us what we want because we are paying for it. It is our country. Let them give the people what they want. It's basically as simple as that. So, Albert, you were telling us that you want nothing from uh, Premier Zamanu Sol. What are you expecting? Do you want the president to now come down to the people? We want now the president to come down to the people because of Zamani soul have failed the people. We have had num numeral uh, uh, engagements with him. We sat for two days with Zamani soul and Sol Plaiki municipality so that we must come to an understanding. They must serve our people correctly. And what Zamani soul showed to us, he showed us the middle finger. He told us he's not going to meet our memorandum because of we requested that he must go, not he must go, the, the, the mayor must go. And he said to us that the mayor can't go because of the mayor is deployed by the ANC. So when the ANC is deploying people, we asked him the question, who is the ANC? So we took it that he was showing the people the middle, the middle finger that I don't care about you guys. So we don't want him anymore. He, is, he, he has failed us. He's incompetent as a leader. He just showed that he doesn't have a backbone to lead this province. Now we want the, the president to come down. We're not going to stop. We want the president to come down. The premier, the MM, the mayor and his committee must go. We have had enough of them. There you have it. Basically, residents saying until uh, the 
president comes to address them, they will not stop. They want change in Kimberley. And of course, they want Premier Zamani Sol to step down along with his mayor and the MM. Mayor Mabilo is the mayor of Sol Plaki. This is where you find towns such as Kimberley and Ritchie and other surrounding towns. So it remains to be seen whether uh, the premier will do anything or in fact uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa will come down. But I think we, it's important to also note that all of this is happening ahead of the local elections which we know they will be in October. So for now we will see what uh, the leadership in the Northern Cape does.